Joining us again, we have Command Master Chief Jimmy Schubert from the Kings Bay Naval Submarine Base. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Trace. It's good to be back with you. Thank you. Uh, summer's coming to an end. Uh, kids are back in school. Uh, speaking of school, tell us about the DEFI program. Oh, the DEFI program did well. We had a great summer. We had 35 kids involved uh, in our, our camp this summer in June. Uh, they did uh, a total of 10 days uh, with their with the camp and they have their first meeting for phase two starting in September so we're very excited about that and uh, Kelly Wiffle has got big plans for them for the rest of the year and uh, so we've done good but the other thing we did this year too which was different we did the uh, back to school bashes and I want to thank everyone for coming that came out for those for the elementary and the high school they were both huge successes and uh, so we get we did a good job of getting our kids back to school this year from the base in and I want to thank Conetta Jefferson for all the work that she put into that because uh, without her it wouldn't have happened. Very nice and she's a wonderful lady. Uh, speaking of wonderful people, uh, we want to touch base on the new commanding officer. Oh, Captain Guffey, he's doing great. Uh, I tell you what, what a blessing we got uh, getting him. Uh, we were sad to see Captain O'Neill leave, but I got to tell you, uh, you're not going to miss a beat with anything that we're doing on the base day in and day out because the execution is going to be the same because we got the same level of leadership and we got the same true commitment that uh, Captain O'Neill had. So we are very, very grateful to have him. Wonderful. I understand he also wants to make certain that the process is smooth, the transition, and he wanted to do um, a public <clears throat> format? Yes. Uh, yeah, on uh, September the 19th at 1800, uh, we're going to do, um, we're going to do a town hall meeting. And I tell you, you know, these things are great if people come. Uh, so I'm encouraged, I would like to encourage everyone to come out for that if you have access to the base or you have some affiliation to the base to, to come out and give us your feedback on what we can do better, what we can do to improve, or what's good and let us know that too. Um, you know, we're looking for a conversation and we're looking to improve the processes on our base. We're looking to make your life better and, uh, and raise the quality of our life for our sailors and our families. Wonderful. Uh, if you can, what was the date again? Uh, September 19th at 1800 in the base theater. Oh, perfect. Uh, what are some of the other upcoming events? I know you've got well, a lot going on. Well, we were pretty. This is a busy time of year for us, or especially for me, because uh, you know we are very grateful. We uh, found out on the first day of August that uh, we made a hundred chief petty officers in Kings Bay. And uh, so we have 100 guys going through induction right now. Uh, that program is intense. Uh, they are very, very busy right now. And I will tell you, we're very, very proud of every one of them. I, uh, the thing that is great about being a chief petty officer is that, because most of us worked our whole lives to be that chief. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when you reach that point in your career, it just makes a huge, so I want to congratulate all our new selectees uh, to their advancement to chief petty officer. Uh, the pinning ceremonies will be on the, fifth, on the 14th, Friday the 14th of September. And each command does it separately, so if you're interested in being at one of them, please contact the Command Master Chief for that particular unit, and uh, he'll be happy to give you the time and date for that. Wonderful. Uh, some of the other events coming up? Well, the last, uh, the last one is, is the month of September is very special to me. Uh, you know, I've been in the Navy 30 years, and I've been the Command Master Chief seven times, and I will tell you that I cannot do my job without my ombudsman. I cannot get that done. And uh, to have... Uh, and what we do in September is the last Thursday in September, we're going to recognize the service of our ombudsmen here in Kings Bay. And because uh, they're phenomenal people. Believe it or not, they saved the Navy over $4 million last year just because of their volunteer service. Because they're official volunteers and they work directly for the commanding officers for each of the command. But these ladies take care of our families while our ships are forward deployed. These ladies and men take care of our, uh, they take care of business while we're here in Kings Bay. And they are the liaison between our families and our commanding officers on the submarines and on our ships and our shore station. So, but on the 28th, we're going to recognize all of their service and that's our big annual dinner. So uh, if you're interested in coming to that, please contact Lisa Mastone at 573-2453 uh, and uh, she'll be happy to take your reservation. Perfect. And I think it's wonderful that you are recognizing the ombudsman because it's, uh, Kind of arduous at times, um, demanding, especially for a volunteer position, and they, they have really a lot of leadership skills that help kind of smooth things out if things get a little tough. So uh, definitely, it's nice that you're going to congratulate them. And well, it's their passion, mm -hmm. you know, and they have the they have the same passion that I have. They have the same passion to serve, mm -hmm. and you know, they serve without any strings attached. And um, you know, and we couldn't do it without them. They're just that important to our organization. They're that important to our ships and our submarines and our sailors and our families. Very well put. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Nope. I think that's about all we got going on. We have enough going on in the next couple months. I, I look know. forward to seeing you next month. Uh, we'll get you caught up in October. <laughs> I'm getting exhausted just <laughs> listening to everything. But uh, thank you again for joining us, as always. Yep. Thank you.
Keep watching Camden TV today.